So in this video, we're doing a little bit of work with range and domain. And so first off, we want to find the range of the function f of x equals x to the fourth minus x squared, 4x squared plus 2. So here's our graph. And the range, remember, is the y values that are covered. So we can see, basically, it's from 2 up. So right now, we already know that it's from 2 to infinity. The only question is, sorry, negative 2 to infinity. It's negative 2 up. The only question is whether or not to include negative 2. Um, so what that means is we need to see if we can get negative 2 as an output. So that's something you can check on your calculator or by hand. We could check it in the following way. Plus 2, will it equal negative 2? Add this to both sides and you get x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus 4 equals 0. And the question is whether or not this can be solved. Again, you can check this in your calculator. This actually does factor into x squared minus 2 times x squared minus 2 equals 0. So we have two answers. Uh, they're at positive and negative rad 2. And all that does is that confirms that we can get negative 2 as an output. So we do want to include it. We can see from the graph pretty clearly it's from negative 2 up. The only question was whether or not we wanted to include negative 2. All we got to do is see if there's an input that gives negative 2 as an output. This is how we do it algebraically. Uh, with a graphing calculator, we could have put a horizontal line in it, y equals negative 2, and seen if the two graphs intersect. So both methods will work to show us that our answer is A. Now here we're looking for the domain of a function. So for a rational function like this, the big thing we want to look out for, what's going to make something not in our domain, is if it makes a 0 in the denominator. So that happens at x equals 3. So we do not want to include 3 in our domain. But all the other points are fine. 1 and 2 are fine. They just make it 0. So it's going to be B, all reals except for where X is 3.